What is up, everybody? My name is Game Over, and welcome back to Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Storm for Shippuden Forced Storm, sh whatever. Uh, we are now at the ending of this game, where Naruto and Sasuke now have to put everything on the line and solve their dispute. I'm gonna love this because I loved this part of the anime because I knew that this part of the anime Naruto had to win now I'm returning to the other side too so I finally but get to see Naruto I beat Sasuke leave, I want to ask you something Naruto and Sasuke after fighting my mother Kaguya did your answers change mine hasn't for a very long time, my wish has always been to protect my friends. I see. Ah, that reminds me. What happened to all the people who got hypnotized by the infinite Tsukuyomi? I want to hurry up and save them all. Undoing the jutsu is a simple thing. With your tailed beast chakra, Naruto, and your renegon, Sasuke, you simply need to make the co seal. Okay. Oh, that's surprisingly easy. Sasuke. Yeah. What about you? The answer you gave back then. I don't mind if you free them. But only after. I execute the five Kage while they're still hypnotized. Yep. What? There we go. Sasuke, are you still planning on getting revenge? Sasuke, what do you want? What do you desire from the end of this battle? I want to know the honest truth. The previous Kage are the ones who created this situation. I'm going to become the Hokage and change the village. And the Hokage you become? What exactly will that be? Hmm. If you really want to know, I'll tell you. It's true that up until now, destruction and revenge were my only goals. But that's changed. I'm going to destroy and then rebuild. I'm going to create a village, a world without darkness. In other words, what I wish for is... Revolution. Planetary devastation! He traps the uh, tailed beasts. No. Kurama! <clears throat> Naruto! I'm going to save you! I Just have hold to on say. For a second. I have to say, uh, the movie. Not the movie. The actual anime did that scene a lot more intensely. It was, a, it was way more of a shock. Uh, I mean, I knew that Sasuke was going to betray everyone, but it was more of a shock in the actual anime than it was in this game. Now, no one is they left did to stand in, in my way. Besides you, Naruto. I suppose it really was too good to be true. Indra and Asura will always follow the same paths. No. The brothers' battle is going to end here. You know where we need to go, right? I 
know there's nothing I can do. Despite how much I care about him, how much I love him, I can't follow him. I can't die with him. Even now, all I can do is stamp my feet and cry. I'm so pathetic. To, to be on Sakura's side for once, it's not really but, her fault that she can't do anything because but, literally the creator Sasuke. of ninjutsu kind of gave Sasuke and Naruto ungodly you powers. Even the tiniest spot in your heart for me. And please, don't go off somewhere again. He knocks out Sakura. You really are annoying. At this moment, I thought that they killed Sakura, but then I remembered Sakura's in Boruto. You didn't have to use Genjutsu on her as well! I think this was the moment Sakura. where Naruto stopped being in love with Just Sakura. Just wanted to save you. I think. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure. You tried to kill her once. And she still just keeps shedding tears for you. Because loving you is torturing her. That may just be a chain from our failed past. Sasuke. I promised Sakura a long time ago that I'd bring you back to the village. Sensei, you know what my ninja way is, right? Here I go! I know that what you just saw probably contradicts yeah, Naruto not I'm being in love with you. Sakura, but he cares about Sakura. He's not in love with her. I think this is the moment where that happens. You don't have any parents or siblings. How could you understand? You've been alone from the very beginning. What could you possibly understand about me, huh? I've already severed my bond with you. I told you already. You have no siblings or parents. You couldn't possibly understand. This is none of your business! And they fight where it all began. I knew you'd be here. This sure brings back memories, Sasuke. Just like before, you're going to lose here. I won't let you land any of the punches you did last time. And I won't hand the title of Hokage to you either. You don't understand what it means to be the Hokage. I told you what I desire is revolution. The Hokage I speak of is nothing like yours. And that's why he can't let you win. Itachi Uchiha. My brother was born in the shadows and protected the village from the shadows. You understand how he lived, right? That's the Hokage I want to become. Moving in the darkness, caring about the village, accepting all the hatred and working for peace. To that end, it doesn't matter how much I have to dirty my hands. I'll accept all the hatred that's born from that. I don't have a father, a mother, or a brother. I'm all alone. I can carry the hatred all by myself. Yes, the Hokage I want to be 
will burn down the darkness of all five Kage with his own flames, then feast on the ashes to survive. You're completely misunderstanding how Itachi lived! There are some things you can't do alone. Like in the battle with Kaguya! Things won't always go well. Like these two statues. And us. Like us brothers. In the end, what this world needs is revolution. I'll take care of all the darkness from the past and restart things with a pure, unwritten future. Are you saying you're going to cut off all your memories of Team Seven? Yes. I'm going to cut off my past. <laughs> that includes killing Naruto. I won't let you do that! I learned everything from people of the past! It's because I had my friends that I was able to keep moving forward! They're what created the me that's here now. I'm never gonna let you cut that away. <laughs> then, you must know what you need to do. <laughs> God, this is really animated well. Naruto! Sasuke! Alright, I'm just gonna... Alright, so there's some things that I want to talk about before I actually go into the fight. First of all, you can actually see that both of these characters, in respect, in their own respective way, they, they understand what they're doing when they're thinking about their future and exactly what they need to do. And neither of them are technically wrong. Uh... It's just that because Naruto is the uh, protagonist, he has to win. <laughs> and also, one thing that I'm hoping that they do in this fight, one thing that I'm really hoping that they do, is in the middle of the fight, switch me to Sasuke. Like uh, how in the actual anime, during the fight, it constantly kept going back and forth with who was going to win. Sasuke got stronger, Naruto got stronger, Sasuke got even more stronger, Naruto got even more stronger. What I want them to do is have it go, first I'm playing as Naruto, then when I reach a certain amount of health, I switch over to Sasuke, and then after Sasuke reaches, and then after Naruto reaches a certain amount of health, I switch back over to Naruto, and it keeps going back and forth. I'm hoping that that's how it does it. It's but it would be buggy as hell. The final fight, so it's gonna be You're difficult. You're going to die here, Naruto! Burn away! Oh, fudge me. Oh, this is cool angle. I like this. This is actually kind of badass. I'm right here. All right, there we go. All I need to do is erase you, and then no one will be able to stand in the way of my revolution. Yep, quick time events. Here we go. Why? I'm glad that clicking the wrong button doesn't give me any hindrance because otherwise I would have lost just then because I accidentally clicked up on the d-pad. B. 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 Planetary devastation. Here come the rocks. So he's right now gaining the power of the tailed beasts. I'm going to finish this with Susano. This will finish everything. No, you won't. Kurama and I are going to stop you. Why? The story protects history, and all of our 
our connections with our allies and everyone else, including YB. You, of course. B. And that was my b and I get a B. B for clicking the B. I'm fine with that. Weird thing is, there's like three more story segments after the after this fight. There's like two more story segments, I think. But <laughs> this is the end of the fight. Now, now I'm all alone. I can't remember if this actually did happen in the anime. <laughs> I cannot believe it, I actually don't remember if Naruto was losing for a second. I mean, I know that he had problems and it looked like he was gonna lose. What's wrong? Don't tell me you've given up already. Is it really that easy for you two to sever your connection? It isn't, is it? Just like Obito and me, your connection with Sasuke can't be severed that easily. Remember, you didn't just reconnect Kakashi and me. My heart was so hardened at you. And it wasn't just me. You opened up a lot of other people's hearts as well. Enemies. People surrounded by hatred. People who rejected the other villages. People who were hurting inside. Even the tailed beasts. You were even capable of solving the problems of the world itself. Now, there's only one person left. It should be easy for you to save a stubborn friend. Right? Yeah, you'll be In fine. theory, yes. Remember that In you retrospect, the no. encouragement of all those people on your shoulders. The connections you've made with your teachers and your peers the hopes of your friends. If you don't have enough power, then just borrow it from their hands. Because, Naruto, that's all the power that you created. Your heart isn't dead yet. If he's submerging himself in darkness, then just use your hands to pull him back up. And if he tries to shake you off, then scream to wake him up. There's no such thing as a feeling that cannot be conveyed. Everyone believes in you, Naruto. You make the impossible possible. Naruto, that's why. You need to get back up already. Don't be afraid to look stupid as you struggle. That is the Naruto we all know. You yeah, I do not think Naruto. that this actually happened in the anime. Connections don't disappear. You need to harden your fist and stand up again. Keep that fire in your eyes. Let out a roar. I 
definitely don't remember this. Come on, Sasuke's waiting for you. Go to him, Naruto. This is all yeah, for your sake. Give me a minute. I'll future. see this in editing. It's fine. I can get my thoughts in editing. Just yet, Sasuke. Why? Over and over, over and over and over. Why do you keep doing this? What's wrong with you? Just what are you? Your friend! I told you I can't leave you alone, remember? <laughs> You're still saying that? After all this? I told you already. I have no intention of going back! And I told you that I have no intention of giving up! It doesn't matter what you say to me. I'll never change my mind. I'm just gonna keep reaching out my hand to you. Until the very end. Until I reach you! It's time to punch. My will won't change either. I'm going to cut you down in order to end the path I've walked so far. I won't give up on you in order to keep my path connected. Neither of us has much power left. Yes, this is the true end except there's two more stories after this or there's two more story parts after this all right that's cool when it hits the ground then they start fighting it would have been cool if they did the that thing i would like to mention destroy sasuke I just realized, is this the different versions of Naruto like and Sasuke that I'm playing through? You're going to lose without ever matching up to me. You know that I'm different from how I was back then, don't you? I won't lose anymore. No. Yeah, I am. I'm playing through different versions of Naruto and Sasuke. What? Next, B. B. And we go back to their very first fight. I wanted to be. Wait. Just like you. I really admired you. We both knew it. Right from the beginning. Oh, at that time. Get away from me. If only you weren't here. If only you've never been born. I... Too bad for you. I've been by your side from the very start. I'm stubborn, remember? I won't give up until you give up. Oh, 
up and X1. Let's do it. You. I like the lost fight. I like this because these two show each other to be both equally strong. Hey, what are you doing? Wait, can I not fight? Wait, I can't use ninjutsu. I can't use ninjutsu because I'm Naruto when he could not do ninjutsu. Ah, oh, we're both just set to the exact same health anyway. With very little chakra. We have a sliver of chakra left. My face is probably blocking it, so... I can't block! <laughs> Can I hit you? Ow! Alright. Give me a moment. I just need to get back up. God damn it. B. There we go. Now I just need to punch him in the face. There we go. There's your punch. Good day, sir. Come on, get back up. I just need to just get back up. I can't even pick up my kunai. Oh, this is awesome. There we go. One more for good measure. Ah, fudge off. <laughs> oh, I love this so damn much. This is the best. Just reliving this moment. I loved this moment in the anime. B. B. How they how did they do a punch that strong if all they were doing was weak pitiful punches before? The fight goes so bad that I... Uh. Bless. They're not gonna mention the fact that Sasuke stole Naruto's chakra and Naruto had to use some of the Nine Tails chakra in order to do this. That entire section, they just skipped. And this is exactly what happened in their first battle, so why did Naruto lose this time? Why did they both lose? Who knows? Activate the secret factor. I got an A. Probably because I did everything except for not get below half health. 
But yeah, I loved this. I love this so damn much. Now do you finally get it? <clears throat> See? If you move, the wound will open. Why are you so obsessed with standing in my way? I acquired this strength so I could cut everything off and enter the darkness. Naturally, everyone tried to break their bond with me at least once. But you... You never did. Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? How many times do I have to tell you? Don't you get it by now? Just answer me! Because we're friends. Just what is a friend... to you? You can't explain something like that with words. But whenever I see you trying to carry everything on your shoulders like that... It... hurts. It hurts so bad that I just can't ignore you. They're not, not going to show their arms are both gone. I know that you've always been alone. Just like me, you felt alienated in a village. But unlike me, you did stupid things to try and get people's attention. Back then, I thought you were an idiot, a weakling. But... Deep down inside, I was interested in you, too. Then we both grew and ended up on the same team. I did missions together with you while you kept going on and on about how you wanted to become the Hokage. And as I felt us growing stronger together, I decided that I wanted to fight you someday. Then... I started to see Team Seven as my own family. That's why, whenever I saw you in pain, yes, I also hurt. Yeah, and that's when why when he got pain, poisoned on that first very first A rank mission, in return, you decided you to go, grow You're not hurt, are strong, you scaredy cat? I just couldn't ignore you. You had a strength. Look, I'm pretty sure that I lacked. Ow. You were I'm pretty sure the entire in front of me. Uh, internet agrees with me that the relationship Just between Naruto like and Sasuke did. is greatly played up. Like, it's a very long stretch. Not as many people like Sasuke, today. and those who do are either his you. fan club or his... Or just... They think that he was a cool addition to the story. <sighs> but... The relationship between Sasuke and Naruto, with them both being friends. Guess it's too soon for you to move. Just when I thought I could punch you to wake you up. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? You still want to keep fighting? <laughs> Of course, I'll fight you as many times as... I accept it. Huh? I lost. He ex this is like the first time that he just... Like, accepts Naruto is stronger than him. And this you, is like... You idiot! This isn't about winning or losing! My friend was sulking, so I just thought I'd punch him to wake him up, that's all! <laughs> hey, Naruto. 
I accept you. If I die here, the chain of war that's been continuing since the time of the Sage of the Six Paths will come to an end. This is another type of revolution. I'll decide this issue myself, once and for all. How can you decide anything by dying? You might as well live on and help me instead, if you're just gonna do that! What I want to do is cooperate with all the shinobi! Including you, of course. Who says everyone else will agree to that? Oh, come on! Go on! Spout some more crap like that! I'll punch you again! There's no telling when I may stand up to defy you again in the future. You won't do this kind of thing anymore! How... can you be sure of that? Don't make me repeat myself! Just what are you? We're friends! What I wanted was for so them to tie in their first battle, like because they technically did here. Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Huh. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't you get it by now? Just answer me! However, just like all anime, they're dragging this on to try and make you cry. I'm not crying a second time. Get it. You won't get me again. Now that I think about it, I guess you always have been surprisingly dense. There we go, now we see it. Why is it black? Show the red. Shut up. And also You're a loser. Oh, I have problems. I have problems with the scene. I knew they'd be here. Kakashi Sensei. Yeah. Go to them. I'm not gonna lose to you! Say whatever you want, you brain dead loser. Enough, Naruto. Shut up already. So, he's finally returned. Alright, that was a cool scene, but I still have problems with how you did the blood thing. Multiple. Multiple problems. Re wait, what? No, there's two, still two more things! Alright, well I may as well say what I had problems with, with the... St with that part of the story when the blood was me was on the ground they were meant to be holding hands and the blood was not meant to be black that was like it was a, an intense thing there it was an important moment it was like an important detail that like added to how i felt about it that's how that was meant to be skip wait yes Oh yeah, and this is when they release the jutsu, and everyone comes back. Wait, are the other two stories what happens after this? Because, are we going to get to see Naruto and Hanada's wedding again? You're awake, everyone. We used to be all alone, starving for love. Children who were festering with hatred. We went our separate ways and fought. But not at all. You never cut me off. You just kept moving closer to my heart. Even though it would have made sense for you to attack me with hatred. You told me I was your friend. 
And no matter how much I hurt you, you accepted me as one. I was only saved thanks to you. We used to do nothing but quarrel, and now we can feel the pain of each other's hearts. And this isn't now just they're between 18. us. It may be something that can be said in a much larger scope. To be honest, you should have been thrown in jail for what you did. He did get thrown in jail for what he the did. The reason you were pardoned is because you made a great contribution to stopping the infinite Tsukuyomi. But don't forget that me becoming the sixth Hokage and Naruto's appeals were a big part of that as well. Don't do anything too crazy anymore, or else I'll have to take responsibility for it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Do you really have to go? Now, I want to know how the Shinobi world, how this world looks to me. Um... What if I asked you if I could come along? This is also a journey of repentance. You have nothing to do with my sins. <laughs> nothing to do with them, huh? See you later. No, he was meant to say thanks. He was meant to s ah no. Ah, I'm finding things wrong again. <laughs> because the reason why that scene was actually kind of heartwarming is because he said maybe next time and tapped her on the forehead, which is what his brother did to him when he was younger. That's why that was a How about I keep it heartwarming at moment. Our next battle. I could never do things like you could. It was never that easy for me. That emotion felt like a prayer. I'll just have to bear this until I can really do it. And the ones who have been tasked with that are us. Naruto. me ah, injection hurts ow <laughs> I can't move my arm that well and with that there is that's a chain it. that began from creation and continued through the Atsutsuki never ceasing people became shinobi and created clans and villages even during peaceful interludes the flames of war never died out but grew ever stronger, along with hatred. And so, those two continued to face each other, fighting on and on. However, a single ninja was able to sever that chain and cultivate a new future. Can I just point out how BS that is that a single ninja friends. managed to get rid of the entire Love world's them. hate? Can we just point out that plot? <laughs> but hey, that's anime in a nutshell. His will gradually came to encompass all shinobi, the world, and all its hatred until it came to reveal a new path. Here, the hand Wait, okay, I think I understand. The, it, the blood wasn't black, it was showing that their hands were burnt. Like, literally burnt to a now, cinder. Because this is a children's a game. Book, a title. 
and so it will be named. The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki. It would have been cooler if you said it would have been the Tale of Naruto Shippuden, but okay. Um, so their hands didn't get disintegrated like they did in the actual anime. Their hands just got burnt to a cinder to the point where they can't use them anymore because this is a children's game and you can't show people having missing limbs. Okay, fine, fine. And I, I still do not like the, 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 how they did the, Nar the Sakura tapping on the head thing. The new age. Oh, uh, is this showing Boruto? Yep. Boruto is exactly hey! like his dad. fall flames burn the shadows of the flames illuminate the village and again new leaves bloom Okay, the new age end. Is it going to show one more cutscene? Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm. The end. Okay. Yep, there's still two more stories. I see the two more stories there. New episode unlocked. You can now play Bonds. The new age. Wait, story 100% completed. I've already seen them. Almighty. I got a title, Almighty. Oh, they were just cutscenes that I could watch. Okay. So yeah, that is the end of the main story of Naruto Shippuden. No way is it actually over. I'm still going to be playing the adventure, uh, which I don't exactly know what it was. In this mode, you can go on adventures in the world of Naruto Shippuden after the events of story mode. Okay. Um, so I want to say my thoughts on the actual Naruto Shippuden main story, because obviously that's the main thing that everybody's going to go for. Everybody got Naruto Shippuden Ultimate in the Storm 4, so then they could play the main story and play as Naruto and all of that and get all the way to the end and see how it ends. Uh, for those who didn't actually watch the anime, whatever. You, you don't you know what I mean. The, there's a reason why, uh, that is there. Um, so my thoughts, uh... I will say that eliminating all of my thoughts from the actual anime itself, if I eliminate the fact that I watched the anime and there's a couple of scenes that I felt like they did better in the anime, uh, eliminating that, I think this is a really good game. Rare, I would highly suggest people playing it. Uh, even though it's considered old at this point and those who have an Xbox 360 are very limited because now there's the Xbox One and the newer Xbox console, uh, you can still, like, get this game off of Steam or anything like that. I would highly suggest that you get it because it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, and also, the story actually does it pretty well, giving a new script, uh, to add to the, add to the intake of the game. Uh, however, as a person who has watched, uh, Naruto, as a person who has watched Naruto, while the scriptwriters did an amazing job, and they did do a couple of scenes that, in my opinion, are better than the anime, uh, more impactful and more memorable than how the anime did it, there's a bunch of scenes where they had to make cuts and edits that didn't make it as impactful. Like, if I was to talk about the fact that their arms got burned off, uh, 
Like, they're... Sure, their arm's getting burnt to the point where they can't use them anymore. Yes, that is an impactful scene, I guess. But what made that scene where they where they blew the final hit, it was way more impactful in the anime because Sasuke stole what was left of Naruto's chakra, meaning he could do a Shidori uh, while Naruto couldn't do any chakra moves and was basically a sitting duck. Then... Kuruma decided to give him a bit more of his chakra, or wh whatever was left of Kuruma's chakra, uh, in order to do one last Rasengan. They both hit each other, and then they both, uh, from the explosion, they both lost an arm. Literally, the arm was just gone. It wasn't torn off, it wasn't cut off, the arm just disappeared, and all that was left was, like, a blood stain of what the arm would have looked like and then two holding hands that was an insanely impactful scene that left a lot of care and worry in the viewers hearts uh it also led on to them going back to the village and them using some of hashirama's cells in order to make naruto and sasuke a new arm hence why naruto has a wrap around his arm in boruto but yeah even though i've watched the anime this game is fun there are a couple of gameplay elements that I would have enjoyed if they added it, like the running around the village, uh, or like not running around the village because there is no village to run around, but running around the battle environment. Like, if I could run to the uh, massive tree, if I could run to the tree, that would have been great. If I could like do Naruto tricks to like run up the side of the tree, jump from tree to tree, do quick time events in order to do swings and all that and try to get to the top of the tree and there was like an achievement, that would have been absolutely flipping superb. Like when you get to the top of the tree, uh, you can see that beyond like a uh, invisible wall that blocks you from the rest of the world. You can see, it can even be a PNG if you want, uh, behind the invisible wall, you can look and uh, you can see the hidden leaf village, the hidden sand village, rain village, and all of that. Like, you could see the entire other world uh, at that point. Um, but they didn't add it, which is kind of really disappointing to me, because it was in the Naruto Rise of the Ninja, and I absolutely loved it. The fact that I could literally run around the leaf village, I could walk on water whenever I wanted. Uh, when you reach the end of the game, there's still so much that you can do just in the village itself as either side quests or simply just exploring the village. You could even do vill village, like, flipping ninja races where you have to reach a certain point at a certain time. I enjoyed that, but they didn't add in this game, which kind of makes me sad. But while that's not in the game and while there's a bunch of gameplay elements I would have enjoyed... Now, this game is still good, and I highly suggest that people play it, because the characters that you can play as, there are so many. The fact that you can team characters up, and then there's also the factor that you can partner certain characters to each other, which <laughs> sets off special ninjutsus that you can do. It's flippin' awesome, and I absolutely love it. But, with that, that is the end of the main story of Naruto Shippuden. Four. There are two things that I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is, in the next episode, we're going into adventure and we're seeing what's in there. My guess is that we're going to be replaying iconic moments from uh, the Naruto story. Like, we're going to play Naruto versus Sasuke, the very first fight. Uh, we're going to do Team 7's first mission and we versus Zabuza and Haku. Like, we're going to go and see all of the really important moments in Naruto's story that just stuck with the fans that's my guess with what adventure is and then after i do adventure we're going to try boruto's tail now i have special rules for boruto's tail if i go into this and i am not enjoying myself i am not going to do the rest of the story on camera i'll do it in my own time whenever i'm like eh, i got nothing else to do i'll play naruto ship and open his stone full and i'll play boruto's tale that's the only time that i'll do it because to me personally the only fun and enjoyable part of boruto that i like is seeing all of our old characters grow up and become adults with naruto from what i've seen actually being a pretty good father while still keeping his silly goofiness uh, and also being a really good Hokage, Hinata is now a lot more confident and, like, is more, 
the leading person when it comes to controlling the household. Uh, and my favorite, I actually have a favorite new character from Boruto, and that's Sorade, because I like, while most people probably don't like the idea of an Uchiha who needs glosses to see, I think that that's the best quirkiness that we can get. That's literally the best thing that we could have got to the series, because that is interesting to the point where it's believable. Like, like when you think about it, Uchiha needs a glasses to see. That's actually a great character concept that is... That, it ha that character has a flaw, they learn to move past it, and it's actually one of the only parts of Sakura that I actually like, which everybody knows that I hate Sakura. Sakura is my least favorite anime character ever. I don't like Sakura at all. But Sarade, I love Sarade. Just her existence is awesome to me. Uh, and I haven't even seen that much of Boruto. I've only seen like certain scenes that get recommended to me on YouTube where if it doesn't if it doesn't show a picture of any of the old characters, mention any of the old characters or shows or says anything about Sarade, I'm not going to look at it. <laughs> Because, from what I heard about Boruto, everything's peaceful or everything's meant to be peaceful. While Boruto is still trying to become better than his dad, which he's going to because he's the main protagonist now. Uh, Kuruma dying. I'm fine with Kuruma dying because it makes sense. However, the reason why Kuruma died, I didn't like it. The fact that they need Kuruma to die in order for Boruto to become better than Naruto, because if Naruto has the tailed beasts, he can't be beaten by anybody. I don't like that that's the reason why Kurma died. I want it to be that now that Kurma's dead, Naruto learns to use his power to use his actual power because now he has the same chakra as everyone else. Meaning he has to learn to be the strongest one there. While still being while still being Hokage, like he's still Hokage, but Sasuke is probably more stronger than him now. But anyway, this wasn't meant to be a rant about. Uh, this wasn't meant to be a rant about Boruto. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button to see more awesome and amazing videos there, just like this one right here. And please tell me what you thought of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Four story main story thing. And tell me what I should be looking forward to when going into adventure. I'm excited to see what's in there. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you all did enjoy it. Do all the things that I already told you to do. And until next time, this game is over. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.